Hey, it's Soleil, and this is episode 212 of the Orange Pill Investor. And today I want to go over my positions in the main account because I had them positioned exactly where I thought they needed to be with enough upside protection in case my strategy ran. But I noticed that even as I was adding positions, you know, dollar cost averaging into these long calls, my position was diminishing. And the reason is because Delta is not a set value. So you buy or sell an option that has a Delta value, but that Delta doesn't remain constant. And I had about, I think I had about a thousand Delta between these and I only had 2000 shares. So that was about 500 share or 500 Delta per thousand that was uncovered. And that was pretty, that was pretty okay. Um, I think back then I was selling out of the money covered calls as well. And I, I was comfortable with that because I went to optionsprofitcalculator.com and I have, you know, figured it all out. But now I have more shares, so I should need more protection, but I have less Delta protecting them because this was worth like 300 and something. And even though I've added five to 10 more positions than I had before, which you, this number should be going up, it's actually down because the Delta per contract has been collapsing on me. So I don't think I have these configured not necessarily correctly, but the best I could do right about now would be if there's a massive rally, I would be able to break even. Um, I did the calculations, but I'm going to go through them on the video just so you can see how I go about determining how much protection, you know, upside protection I think I need. And so really what it's, it's just all a kind of a guessing game. So some people have asked me, Hey, how do I know, you know, how many uncovered shares to have? Or if I have a thousand shares, you know, how, do, how, how many covered calls can I have and make sure that I have enough money to roll without losing my shares. And it's, it's really impossible to know because MicroStrategy's price is impossible to know. So what I do is I just basically plan for what I think is a reasonable expectation. I think worst case scenario in a week is that MicroStrategy probably goes up 50%. But I think a nice rally is, I think I think 20% rallies is, is a matter of routine and should be absolutely planned for. So I'm gonna go through the scenario of uh, going through both of these. So I have these 116 strikes. The price is currently 114. If the price goes up 20%, I'm just going to estimate this a little bit. Um, if the price goes up 20%, that's going to be double 11, so 22. Um, I have these loaded up on options profit calculator already. And so adding 22 to 116 gets you to what? One, damn it. Yeah, gets you to like 140. And option profit, often options profit calculator, you know, they, they go by whatever increments they decide to go to. So I thought, all right, let's go to 144. 144 lets me just compare easy numbers here. So if we get a 144 rally, that's $30 a share. And that means I have to come up with the difference between uh, 144 and 116, which is $28 a share. 28 and 116 should be 144.
and I have 23 of these covered calls. So let's just hit our calculator. $20 a share times 2,300 shares. That's how much money I would have to come up with in order to avoid rolling. Oh, actually, I got assigned. I only have 22 of these covered calls. I have, I have 2,300 shares because I, I got assigned this morning. So $28 a share times 22. 100 shares. 61 grand. And let's take a look at options profit calculator and see. Uh, this is my... February 21st. These are my short dated long calls. These are technically not leaps. And if the price goes to 144 and I have 37 of them, right? Yep, 37 of them. That would net me, let's just round it to 10 grand. And if the price goes to 144, my other long calls. I have 20 of those. Those will give me 19,000 in profit. So let's say 29 grand. So I can profit 29,000 from the long calls. That's how much upside protection I will get. from the amount of Delta that I have accumulated on these long calls. That leaves me with a bounce of 32.6 to come up with. So unfortunately, I would have to allow some of my shares to get called away. So how many, well, I do have these 100 un, uncovered now, <laughs> but I'm gonna pretend those don't exist. I gotta sign those over the weekend. So let's just assume that I didn't have any additional shares and I only had 2200 and these 2200 or excuse me 22 covered calls that I got to deal with since the price that I would be basically selling them at you know when they get called away would be 116 I should be able to divide this by 116 and that gives me 281 shares. So I would have to let three of these get called away. That comes up with, you know, basically 32 grand worth. And then I can cover the rest with all of these long calls. But the problem is I still need more of this for protection for next week. So that still doesn't really cut it. And I don't want my share count to really decrease. So I have let this get a little bit out of hand. Um, we'll see if I get lucky because I probably won't. I wasn't going to necessarily sell covered calls over the rate cut or not cut announcement. I believe that's on the 18th. So next Friday, I may not have sold some covered calls anyway. I guess I could sell them and then just take them off on the 17th. But I'm not sure if that's really worth it. I guess I'd still be able to collect Theta for a few days. Uh, but I definitely need to, after this week, or if I get a chance to reposition these in the middle of the week, I may need to do that. I may go ahead and just leave. I was planning to sell a covered call, so I may not sell this one at the money. I may go ahead and just leave that uncovered. That gives me another 100 delta here. 
But the point of adding 100 shares at a, at a clip is to sell more covered calls. And the more sell, covered calls I sell, the more premium I collect, which allows me to more, buy more covered calls and, uh, and these long calls. So I don't, like the, I don't like the idea of leaving any of these shares uncovered. That kind of defeats the purpose. So we'll see. Um, and it would be even worse, I believe, if the price went up like 50%. Uh, let me just pick out a... Uh, pick out one here. So if the price went up 50%, what would that be like 50 or 60 bucks? So if the price goes to like 162, then these calls get me 33 grand and these calls get me 20. So let's say 53,000. But What did I say at 162? Yeah. All right. So if the price goes up to 162, though, that's 50, 48 bucks. So now I got to come up with $48 a share times 2,200. Now I got to come up with 105. And I said this, these two added up together it was like, what, 50, 20, yeah, 53. So minus 53,000. I got to come up with another 52.6. And again, these would be getting called away at 116. So divided by 116. At that point, I'd have to come up with 453 shares. So I'd have to let five of these get called away, and then I could pay to roll the others. So this is definitely not how I wanted this to be structured. Um, I probably need to, instead of selling the at the money covered calls, I need to build at least 20% call away. In this scenario where it got to 144, if I just had the you know, if I bake 10% call away value in here to begin with, at the 122. I think the price was one. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's about right. So let's go to the 125. Oops. If the price is 120, I'll see, 10. So yeah, so in this case, the difference between 125 and 143 would be 18 a share. So if I have to come up with 18 times 2,200, that's 39.6. And what did we say it was? So that's 25, 26, 26, 25 and 15, yeah, 40. So it doesn't, yeah, that's almost exactly how much I need. So that's what it looks like. I need to build at least 10% call away value into these in order for my long calls to just barely cover me. And that's fine, but like I said, I, that would still only give me enough 
upside protection to break even. And these long calls here are about benefiting from leverage and really, really uh, building in some profit here. Now, if I continue to sell, let's see how much would that have got me though? What did I say? The 125? Now I can only get about, yeah, that's actually not bad. It's not terrible. It's like 1% on each. But times. Wait, why do I have two calls in here? All right, let's clear this order. If I were to pick up 22 of these, Yeah, increase my buying power by 1,400. That doesn't seem right. Oh, probably because I already have. Covered calls open. It's trying to figure out. It's doing, it's doing a weird calculation, I think, based on the uh, margin algorithm. Oh no, it's actually that's actually correct because this is a margin account. So even though it's a thirty seven hundred credit, it's it's cut in half. It's only going to get me an extra certain amount of buying power, and then fourteen hundred would let me pick up another one of these. <clears throat> So, I either need MicroStrategy to recover a little bit, or I may have to take a little bit less premium than I'm used to, or maybe even go out to 45 days. In that case, 20, 10% would get me to 125, 20% would get me to like 136. So, if I could go all the way out to the 150, 50, that's like a 30% increase. I can still pick up a bunch of uh, a decent amount of premium, but I'd only be able to collect about one per, excuse me, a quarter of this per week because you generally try to manage these out of the call, out of the money calls every two to three weeks. So best case scenario, I would be making about 120 a week, which is fair. Um, I generally shoot for 1% a week, but a lot of experienced options traders are really don't really expect much more than 0.5%. So I think that pretty much concludes it. The, the long calls that I have will protect about 2,000 of my shares, but I would have to let two or 300 of them get called away or just sell them straight up. In order to uh, preserve the rest. Now that doesn't include how much money I would get paid if I rolled them as well. So that would spare me a little bit of change. I'd be able to keep a few of these behind because I can just go ahead and roll. But for now, I'm thinking next Friday will be the last time I try to get away with uh, 
these really aggressive at the money covered calls. And I will either immediately start going towards building in 10, 20% call away value again, like I had been doing previously. Or maybe even go out to 45 days and build in like 30% call away value. All right. I think that's it. Be good, y'all.